Okay, we want to find this green area. We want to know uh, what the probability that a value is less than a z-score of negative 0.73. Um, we want to know what the area of this green. Remember, this is the probability or the area under the curve. Anytime you're dealing with the left, Excel is going to give you the value of the left. So when I bring this up, I'm going to go here to formula, more function statistical, and I'm going to go down here, and I want normal S distribution, this one right here. And this says returns a standard normal distribution. Um, that's what we want. And so I'm going to put in my value, negative 0.73. And notice this says, let's see here, does this actually say? Nope, it doesn't say left. So you have to know it's left. And then this I want to put in true. I want the cumulative distribution because I want all the, all the green, not just the green line. So if I put in false, it would just give me the green line, just that number. I want everything under there. I want the whole value. And so then I'm going to push OK. So then my area, 0.2327, I mean about 23%, that's the percentage that I'm going to have a value less than this. That's the area under this curve, this 0.2327. We always round to four decimal places. If I was going to write this out, I would write this out. This is the air, the z is less than negative 0.73 equals, and in this case, 0.2327. Um, and you just have to remember that Excel always is going to give you the value to the left. So when we're looking for the left, nice and easy, just look it up. If we need a value that's not to the left, it gets a little bit more complicated, and I have videos on each of those situations as well.